All right, welcome back to another episode of Beer, Bacon, and Bros. Tonight we are diving into our projections for the uh, AFC West. Yes, AFC West, uh, Kansas City, Las Vegas Raiders, Los Angeles Chargers, and Denver Broncos. So before we tell you who's going to win the division and who's going to finish last, make sure you hit that subscribe button for us. We are on a hot streak. Our family is growing like crazy, and we want you to be a part of it. Make sure you like this video, and as we always say, you're welcome to leave a comment even if it's just a shit emoji like somebody did last week. So, all right. Like I say real quick, going trying to say Las Vegas Raiders and Los Angeles Rams back to back. I know, it was weird. Your mind weird. is like, that's <laughs> not right. That's <laughs> not right. Huh? Not right. Huh? Well, I, want, I, want I mean, to it's not them. fresh, but you're still, your brain's like, no, that's not what they are. I wanted to call them both the Los Angeles Chargers and Raiders, yeah. but it's not that. So, um, all right. This is going to be a lot of fun, actually. This, this is a this division. There are so many moves happening this off season. Uh, you know, Broncos going to get the quarterback. Raiders getting some defense and a big top wide receiver. Uh, the Chargers, you know, doing well in the draft, kind of beefing up their defense and offensive line. And then Kansas City, of course, you know, making a huge wide receiver change to another wide receiver change to an offensive line change. So, I mean, a lot of moves happening in this in this division. But I mean. If it's possible, this might be the division where four teams win ten games. Oh yeah, no, I I, I believe that. And then, which team are you going to leave out of the playoff of the playoff picture? Yeah, I mean, it, I know mine, but I just went first in the last video, so I'm going to let you go first this time. <laughs> so for me, I had a, I, I had to struggle with this honestly because my my gut's telling me that Kansas City still finds a way to win the division. They started off slow last year and then rattled off, what, nine, ten in a row? Yeah, no, I was, yeah. I was sweating. So, I was under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, I won about half games, all right? So I'm still going to have to go with Kansas City just because of Patrick Mahomes. I think Mahomes is the X factor in that team. I think Patrick Mahomes is the guy that leads them to the promised land of the play, of the playoffs. Yeah. Um, the problem, the, the, the weak points on that offense that I see – I'm not so on Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Um, I think adding Ronald Jones is, was was a good move by them. I don't know if he's going to be, I don't know if he's going to be the guy to, to really take them over the top. But I think it's a good compliment to Clyde Edwards Hilaire because he's got more of the power yeah. versus the elusiveness and the speed. Um, I actually like Juju going to going to Kansas City. I think Juju's going to fit in well with with um, with Patrick Mahomes. He's more of a possession receiver versus that speedster. So I think he's going to be able to catch more balls that are thrown his way. Um, so he he's not going to be able to overrun a ball. So I don't I don't think he's going to have to worry about anything like that. Um, Travis Kelsey's still on that team, like you already mentioned earlier. They definitely did some moves on the offensive line by adding Orlando uh, Orlando Brown at the left tackle. I mean that's a huge pickup for them. That's that's a great move by them. Uh, second, I'm going to have to go with the Chargers. I think the Chargers are going to come in second in that, and I think they're going to be neck and neck with the, with, with the, uh, <clears throat> I think they're going to be neck and neck with the Chiefs. I don't think they're going to overtake the Chiefs, but I think they've done a lot to, to put themselves in a position where they can, where they can eventually overtake them in that position. Like you said, beefing up the offensive line, beefing up the defense. They definitely did some, some big moves there. I love Austin Eckler. Um, Justin Herbert's going to be one of the next big guys coming up. Uh, Keenan Allen's getting a little older, so I don't, I'm not sure where where he's going to really be, where he's going to be, you know, come the end of the season because he had a little bit of, he had some struggles last year. Um, Mike Williams needs to step it up a lot. He's always he's usually always hurt. He's one of those kind of, he's one of those guys that you have to watch. So second uh, in third place, I'm, I'm going to go with the Raiders. I think the Raiders are going to come in third. I think they're going to be neck and neck for that second. We were we were just talking at the beginning of this video. You're going to see that potential to have four win four or four teams with ten wins. I think Oakland is going to be well. Sorry, Vegas. Vegas is going to be one of those one of those wild card teams that gets in with one of those ten wins from this division. I think they I think they made great moves by picking up Devontae Adams, re-signing Hunter Renfro, who had a great year last year. Um, it's going to be a question of if he if he can keep if he can replicate that again. Um, but putting putting Derek Carr in there with the with Devontae Adams, I think, is going to be a great move for the team. They still have Devin, uh, Derek Waller, uh, Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs is a really good, really good running back. And then having Samir White behind him, and then the draft was a great was a great play. He's had 
and in, in, in the Hall of Fame game, he looked fantastic in the Hall of Fame game. Yep. So I mean, I think I think he's going to be primed for a big for a good season. Defense, they added a lot. You know, getting uh, Crosby, was it Crosby they got or Chandler Jones was the guy they got? It was Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones yeah, was the guy they got. So Crosby plays hockey. Yeah, back, back <laughs> <to the ball. laughs> um, and then Rocky Asin was the other guy they yeah, added. They, so got they didn't get Mason Crosby. That's not who they put on the no, defense. No, 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 no. Okay. He's a he's a little <laughs> bit bigger than Mason Crosby. Yeah. He's only six foot five, two fifty five. Okay, yeah. yeah. So that's two, Mason, that's two of Mason Crosby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he would without a doubt be the best hockey player at that size. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, he's six foot nine on skates. <laughs> And as much as I hate to say it, I think Denver's still going to be last, even adding Russell Wilson. I mean, I think Russell Wilson's going to have a great year offensively with the with with the, with the receivers that he has between Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, and KJ Hamler. He just lost. Uh, who was it? Who was the guy that just lost? Um, number eighty-one. The guy that he picked up last year. Tim Patrick. Yeah, they just lost Patrick for the year. Yeah. Um, I don't think they did enough on defense to put themselves in a position to be able to to compete with the other talent that's in that's in that's in that division. Um, other than they added what Randy Gregory was was their big guy for the year. Uh, Ronald Darby, Kareem Jackson, but Randy Gregory was probably the biggest name. Yeah. Yeah. So added. I still think I still think they win ten games, but they come in last in the division. It's crazy. I it? think. Oh, it's it's absolutely crazy. It's but, mind-boggling, but I'm kind of with Keith on this one. Um, I'll skip past Kansas City Chiefs because honestly, I'm just going to sum it this way: if they're not a serious playoff contender, that offense did something wrong. Yeah, I agree. If yeah. they're not a serious playoff contender, that offense did something really, really wrong. Um, the Chargers and the Raiders. Like, it's so hard because like I completely agree with you guys. Like we may, ha- if it was possible, I would say we would have a entire division win ten games. Yeah. Like and it's gonna be like it's like it's so hard to say, hey, we're putting, you know, one to four when we all think that they're capable of winning ten getting games. to that ten game mark. Yeah. Um I mean you could The you Raiders, can... I think the Raiders are gonna they'll they'll sneak by and get the second place. Um Chargers will have they'll be down in the third by like a game or half a game or some weird tie situation comes into play. I mean like like last season at the end of the, the end of the season when the Raiders had the freaking tie to send someone, oh, yeah. and they went for it on like fourth and whatever, like with one second left, and ended up getting getting down there to where they could go and kick the field goal instead of taking the tie. They went if they the had tied, win. If, if they'd have tied or won, they'd have knocked Pittsburgh out or something, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pittsburgh, would, Pittsburgh only got in because o, uh, they're not they're Oakland, they're the Vegas, Vegas Raiders, won. at the last second said, won we're not game. settling for the tie, we're kicking the field in goal. Week seven, in week yeah. 18 of the, of the league. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, like, it's going to come down to some crazy situation like that again, I think. Um... But I just don't know if Russell Wilson has enough support talent to get out of that fourth place. Um, Are you thinking it's on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball? I think it's going to mostly be on the defense. I don't know if the defense is going to be able to, you know, keep these low-scoring games so that Russell Wilson can outdo the other teams. Because I think I think Russell Wilson is good enough to take that offense to twenty to thirty points a game easy. Oh yeah. Um, and possibly, you know, have a 40-point breakout or something like that. Uh, I mean, if Jerry Judy, I mean, that's not – and, you know, Cortland's like, that's not two bad receivers at all, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, the running back game, I don't really know too much about those guys. You know um, Javante Williams. Yeah, Javante Williams is a solid running back. I don't think I played him much last year. Yeah. Um, Give you a John Yeah, Jonathan Taylor has RB1. Poor guy. Yeah. Poor um, fucking guy. <laughs> Todd Edwards Alaire and Ronald Jones, the combo is going to be great. Um, I, like the, I, like I, I do think that you know Ceh is literally ready to kind of be the pass catcher a little bit more this season. Uh, you know Juju, like you said, going to run great routes. Valdez Scantling going to run great routes. They don't have the speedster with the same ability of Tyreek Hill. Like I know McCole Hardman is fast, but I just don't see him catching every deep ball thrown. No, because I mean like Tyreek Hill was the the, the ungod like the ungodly the talent of where, like, people were just like, hey, you go run a deep post, and we're just going to throw the ball to the end zone. And, and you still catch like, You just go there. get there. Yeah, yeah. you still catch. And he knows he's going to get there before the safety who's got a thirty yard head start on the man. Like I, I know that. Like, if you're a Chiefs fan, you're probably watching this video and going, but you're not talking about Sky Moore. I am I'm on the train, baby. I'm on the train. People don't know about Sky Moore yet. This kid from Western Michigan is a baller. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt, 
by week three will be the third wide receiver on this team. Might overtake Valdez Hanley. Well, I was kind of, I was so, kind of, I'm so I get it. I like how, Jordan too. I like how they have him up there. I feel like the way they have him on this depth chart, the depth chart is more like, yeah, he's second string behind Juju, but they're also like, he's kind of almost equal with Scantling, even though Scantling yeah. is the second, or I wouldn't say second string, but Scantling's the other starting receiver. Yeah. But I think they have Sky Moore up there, like, He's very close. He's going to be the one when they go to like a you know a heavy receiver package. He's going to be the first one off the sideline. Oh yeah, he's oh, going to yeah. be the extra receiver they throw out there. Oh, okay. I think just, that, yeah, Sky. He hasn't. Be. He just hasn't had the time to prove himself in the NFL. But he's, he's going to be there. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's what I'm saying. He just hasn't working. had time so, to play okay. games yet. But um, the big question mark I forgot to mention this is is Juju going to come back from that major shoulder injury? Yeah. That's going to be a big big question mark. Yeah, I just I don't think they they have paid him like he is. <laughs> yeah, they did. I just don't think they have somebody to take the top off yet. And if they show it during the season, then obviously they're going to be in great position. But I'm interested to see. Orlando Brown is a huge thing for them. Huge. Getting a left tackle like this tackle. to finally protect Patrick Mahomes, huge if you're a Kansas City fan. Uh, I, for me, the defense. I mean, they have they have the weakest defense in this entire division. Oh, I know we all talked a little bit about, about Denver's defense tonight. But for me, this is the weakest defense in the division. The Raiders... I love I love that they got Zamir White, who is a carbon copy of Josh Jacobs for when Josh Jacobs gets hurt. And they have Amir Abdullah, who's a carbon copy of Kenyon Drake if Kenyon Drake gets hurt. So you still have pass catch you have literally two pass catching backs, two downhill running backs, right? Who can also catch the ball. Who can I also mean, all catch four the ball. all four of them can catch the ball. Yeah. So I mean they're all four receiving running backs. So I, uh, this is a proven year for Derek Carr. Like he's been a very good quarterback, but now you have absolutely no excuses, right? You got yeah. a top three wide receiver in the league and Devontae Adams, and so you've got to prove it. Who we I, played with in college, so I mean they know each other. They, I know they they train in, in the off season together. So I, I know mean, there's no. I, I don't think there's people are saying, oh, he's going to have a step off because he's not with Aaron no, anymore. No but he trains with Derek Carr every off season, and they went to school together. Yeah. So. <laughs> I got y'all haven't seen this meme yet, but I'll show it to you in a little bit. But uh, I think Alex Leatherwood, great offensive Alex line pick for them. Yep. Oh, fantastic offensive line pick for them. You know, Max Crosby, Chandler Jones, Rocky Sin, um, you know, even Jonathan Abram uh, in the backside. So you know, decent defense here. Not my favorite, but decent defense for the for the division. I still take them one back off. I'm actually going to take the Broncos over Chargers. Wow. Yeah. Again, not not that I don't think the Chargers won't finish nine and eight, right? Like they're going to finish with a good record uh, or a ten and seven record. But I will take the Chargers. I think they've set back at wide receiver. Now it's literally just Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, right? Um, you know, Austin Eckler. I do think Isaiah Spiller, uh, you know, coming from A and M, will be a great backup if Austin Eckler gets hurt. But I just look at their offensive line. I don't feel like it's good enough to protect, you know, um, Justin Herbert long enough. I look at their defense and I go, okay, we got Joey Bosa, we got Khalil Mack now, so we got great pass rushers. I do think there's a great combination in the secondary for them with Asante Samuel, Derwin James, and J.C. Jackson. I think those four, three can handle that secondary. I just don't look at these linebackers and say, hey, these guys are for sure tacklers, right? Like if somebody comes at me with a freaking – One's already out and one's questionable. So. Yeah, I mean, Khalil Mack's a pass rusher. Joey Bosa's a pass rusher, right? But Khalil, Khalil Mack's not dropping into coverage. No. So – um, you know, they just don't. I don't. I question their middle part of their their defense right there, especially when they play a three four defense, right? So, where's the other running back they had? The kid from Florida State. The what position? Florida State. Yeah, like running back they had last year, the one that was hurt, but then uh, came back at the end of the year. It wasn't Derwin James. So, um, you mean in the second? No, 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 no. He played. He played. Asante well, Samuel Jr. Is no, 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 no. He, he, he was Florida State. Yeah. No, but there was the, who was the running back that they had that was oh no I'm thinking of I'm thinking of the the Rams never mind continue on okay all right um get in that memory man when yeah you, when you you know shut up <laughs> they were, so they're both born, they're both in L A they're born from the eighties so yeah. um but for me I actually I, I do think that this is probably this is gonna sound crazy if you're a Kansas City fan don't don't smatter your screen but I think this might be the most dangerous offense. Russell Wilson combined with, you know, Justin Williams and Melvin Gordon, which is a great backfield, you know, together. Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy. I can't even forgot Melvin Gordon was on this team. Yeah. <laughs> and he's in the backup. Yeah. So, uh, KJ Hamler. <laughs> KJ Hamler's sneaky. Great kid coming out of Penn State. He is. He's sneaky as a wide receiver three. And then AO is what I've always called him since he was at Missouri. Super freakish athletic tight end. Not a blocker, but can help him in the passing game. 
The offensive line is where the big questions are, but when you get a Russell Wilson who's played behind a bad offensive line for 10 years now, you know, can he do some things on his own to make things and happen? He's, he's, he's yeah. past the point where I wouldn't even say he's agile. He, he is a scrambling quarterback to where sure. he's easy to get away from the pressure as long as the offensive line is communicating. Like, you know, if somebody's blowing past the left tackle, he better be, you know, run! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> better be yeah, but, but that that was also Russell Wilson 10 years ago compared to Russell Wilson now who's 34. No, yes, I don't know yeah. if he's going to be able to be able to continue to do what he's done. I don't know if he's going to be able I mean, you're, to take you're, that you're, hit. You're 34, you right? Can you, you think you can run around like Russell Wilson? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you for saying I'm 34, though. You're welcome. But, well, I, I had to counteract and kill him. I'm, I'm, I'm the mark the mark. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. But I, I actually look at this defense, and I say it's not a great defense. It's not a terrible defense. In my opinion, it's an old defense, right? It's like, a very old defense. You're talking about Ronald Darby. You're talking about Kareem Jackson. You're talking about uh, Randy Gregory, uh, DeMont Jones. Or DeMont Bradley, Jones, Bradley like, Chubbs is getting up there. Bradley age. Chubbs getting up there. Patrick Sertan, yeah. obviously the lead name that's young, right? But, he was a rookie last year. So. Um, but for it's me, crazy thing about the Chubbs getting old. On the defense Bradley side. Chubbs? Yeah. yeah. I mean – you know, I, you just remember he was uh, playing against South Carolina in that NC State game, you know, years ago now. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Debo yeah. Samuel was with the opening kickoff. So, yeah. Uh, but for me, I, that's for me actually what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Kansas City, then Raiders, then Broncos, and then Chargers. Again, not saying that all four of these teams can't win 10 games. Like, the Chargers may finish fourth at 9 and 7. Uh, but I do, I do think. I mean, how painful is that going to be? To not make it to playoffs and possibly be a 10 win team. Yeah. When you're going to have divisions that possibly might have just above 500 teams making it into the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) What year was it when we had a losing record make it? Was it two years ago? It was the NFC East. Two seasons ago or was it three seasons ago? It was the NFC East. It was was, was was the 7 9. It was the 7 9 Redskins team. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Was that two or three years ago? That was three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. But I mean, this this division wasn't that far away last year. You had a nine and eight Chargers team. You yeah. had the ten and seven you know Raiders, and then the seven and ten Broncos. I mean, but, and seven and ten Broncos. I'll give you the three game swing with Russell Wilson. Like, three, at least the yeah. two a two and a half game swing. Three, three, yeah, easy. and then yeah. and then you know adding Ronald Darby and Kareem Jackson. I mean, they, they yeah have, you know done enough defensively to put themselves Absolutely. in a decent position. So, all right. Let us know in the comments who you think will win the AFC West. And as always, we appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe.